Did you know that Femi Otodola contemplated committing suicide? Hmm. Hi guys, welcome to the House Medical School Culture and Entertainment News. I'm your host for today, Ola Dini Ogule. And today we're going to be talking about the fact that it is okay to have the thoughts. It is just wrong to act on it. Yes, so Femi Otodola, you guys know, is one of the richest men in Nigeria. But you guys don't believe that as rich as that man is, back in 2008, he actually contemplated committing suicide. So basically, we got this information when he disclosed this at his uh, friend's 50th uh, birthday party. This is Aki, Aki Femiwa's um, birthday party. He explained that back in 2008, he lost a sum of $480 million in diesel to his playfulness. This was when he was the CEO of Forte Oil. Now, basically, he explained that um, he purchased a sum of $1 million, one million tons of oil um, that were set, in shore to, that were set in to the shore of Nigeria. And basically, when he had already purchased everything, he purchased it when the price of oil was still like stable. And before the oil set to Nigeria, the price dropped, like they decreased in value, and they decreased by 65%, allowing him to lose a sum of $480 million into the diesel market. Now, imagine that kind of situation and all the things are going to be coming through your mind now he explained that while he's there commit when he started making the thoughts of committing suicide when all these things were happening to him the only thing he could actually think about was his family the thought of his wife and his children and the fact that if he should actually leave them who is going to provide for them but did that thoughts cross his mind yes he did do you understand and then he was explaining at this man's birthday celebration that this was the reason why i decided to actually take in um mr Aki akifemiwa as the new ceo of 40, 40 oil which who basically is also the head of Google Group or something like that, if I remember, yes. So I'm so shocked that this kind of situation has happened to a rich man. I'm not so shocked because I feel like every rich person has their tough stories, do you understand? But like the fact that immediately, he, in his own words, he said that when he gave the uh, position to this man, everything started going very well for the company and this man actually helped the company running and get back off his feet from he had already put the company into debt but like the point is just that sometimes something they are working so hard on might not just be for you do you understand if you have the capability to employ professionals to help you with that business idea professionals to help you navigate a particular situation is okay because you cannot do everything by yourself do you understand there's no long man ranger in this business especially when it comes to the business of losing money do you understand employ um talent employ people to help you to get yourself off the ground. Do you understand? You can't do everything by yourself. Femi Atelela told us that he tried to do everything by himself and lost $480 million. Sweetie, you can't do everything by yourself, okay? Employ people. Employ us. Yeah. Thank you. So that brings us to the end of today's opinion piece and say no to suicide. Suicide is never an option. But even rich people contemplate suicide. So you're not weird. Times are just tough. Thank you. For more information like this, to follow us at The House Chronicles as well as visit our website at thehousechronicles.com. Once again, I'm your beautiful host, Olajunye Gumaye. Bye.